the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from its slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the monster man It was a graveyard smash Hello, you rich gator at Defiance Illusion. How you doing tonight? I was asked to do something for a good friend, the Big D. He asked me to do this. I did a short one last year. I'm going to do a little lengthier one this year. It's the Halloween special with Paul Lind with Kiss. Okay. So, this is how it went. The original place, <clears throat> or the original people who had it was ABC, the network. Um, the cast was Paul Lind as himself, Big Red the Sheik, um, Margaret Hamilton as Margaret the Housekeeper, Wicked Witch of the West, Billy Hayes as... Wil Wilma Wikipoo. Uh, Billy Barty as Gallows, the butler, Pinky's boss. Tim Conway as two rival truckers. Samoy of the Foreign Legion. Roz Kelly as Pinky Tuskego. Betty White as Miss Halloween. Florence Henderson as herself, Lady Cecilia Westinghouse, Kiss as themselves, Donny Osmond as a kid tormentor, and Marie Osmond as a kid tormentor, Biff Menard, uncredited as the marriage officiant. So Biff Menard was uncredited in this. Uh, Paul Lynn has signed a major contract with ABC, two sitcoms famed as star vehicles for Lind. The Paul Lind Show and Temperatures Rising had failed. So he'd had a couple projects before this. And I know this one for a fact did not fail because for one thing it had Kiss on it and they were like at their height at that time. I mean, it was the original band and all that, you know, they were really, you know, everybody who said that they were fly-by-night guys with a, a temporary, yeah, they, they got proven de definitely wrong. Kiss been around for 30 years plus. Uh, let's see here. The Paul Lind Halloween special is a Halloween-themed television special starring Paul Lind broadcast October 29th, 1976 on ABC. I was six years old. It featured guest stars Margaret Hamilton in a reprisal of her role as the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. Also starring are Billy Hayes as Wikipoo from H.R. Puffin Stuff, Tim Conway, Ross Kelly, Florence Henderson, Rock Band Kiss, Billy Barty as Gallows the Butler, Betty White, and in an unbilled surprise appearance, Donnie and Marie Osmond as special aired only once. So this was only aired one time, and it was in 1976. Um, it was written by Bruce V. Villaroch and Ronnie Graham. Ron Perlman is on the credits. Wow. Biff Menard or Maynard. Howard Alberek. Sol Weinstein. Directed by Sidney Smith. I already read you who all the stars are. I mean, it was just, it was cutting edge stuff for the day. Uh, so Big D, that's what I found for you, my friend, on the Paul Lind Halloween special starring Kiss.
And uh, this was back in 1976. Uh, the DVD cover, you can pull it up on Google. It has uh, an amazing Halloween cover with Paul Lynn uh, behind a pumpkin. It's just, it's, it's really great stuff. So check, definitely, it's worth a check out. And I would even go as far as to say, check out also Phantom of the Opera. Or at Phantom of the Opera, I'm sorry. Um, Kiss Beats Phantom of the Park. Uh, Phantom of the Opera was actually done by Iron Maiden, but anyway, Kiss Beats Phantom of the Park was another great movie that I thought, uh, you know, back in the day, we look at it now, you know, everybody's like, oh, that's cheesy. You gotta remember the time it was done. It was cutting edge technology at that time. I mean, you're talking about before computers were even really out, <laughs> you know, nobody had a computer in their home at this time. I mean, everybody had like radios and you know, this is the time of walkie-talkies and CBs and Hey Good Buddy and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you know, check out uh, Kiss Meets Phantom of the Park. It's definitely worth a good watch um, for this holiday season. And uh, remember, behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. And again, best wishes to Edward Van Halen. Thank you for all the good times, my friend. And in fact... Eddie Van Halen tried out for Kiss one time, and Gene Simmons is the one, it, I was told, Gene Simmons is the one who actually put them together. Kiss was actually, or I'm sorry, Kiss put Van Halen together. Um, almost got it reversed. Um, yes. Gene Simmons saw a band and saw another band and took two members from one band, two members from another band, and formed Van Halen. True story. I've been told that all my life. And they, uh, they, and I've even seen segments where they've accredited Gene Simmons with that. So thank you, Gene. Uh, you know, feels like, uh, well, I ain't even going to say that, you know, only God knows when we check out. So, but anyway, you know, best wishes to the Van Halen family and let's remember them and say a little prayer for them and, you know, in your spare time, because they're really going through a, a hard time as all of us fans are as well. Uh, but Let's not forget KISS is uh, supposed to be continuing their final tour here shortly as well. And, uh, you know, maybe we might get an interview at Defiance Illusion with, you know, one of the KISS members, and we might be able to ask them some questions. You never know what might happen. The world's always open, my friend. Remember that. The sky's always the limit. And the sky's not even the limit these days. We go into outer space now, so, you know, there's really no limits. Remember that. Don't never get down. Stick around to find solution. Keep your head up. Give us a like. Make some comments. Share us with your friends. God bless. Stay dating strong. This is Defiance Illusion signing off.